Welcome to Decision 2017. This is Rich Sullivan in the studios of iHeartMedia Atlanta and Talk Radio 640 WGST as we interview some of the candidates who are running to be Atlanta's next mayor as Kasim Reed's term comes to an end in January. And Fulton County Commission Chair John Eaves is seeking that office. Welcome to 640 WGST. Kyle, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to talking with you and your listening audience. Yes, indeed. You have uh, an extensive resume. Uh, The word Yale will jump out to most (laughs) under investigation. Talk a little bit about uh, your education and experience. You have a lot of uh, both. I do. I mean, my my grandparents uh, set the standard. My grandfather immigrated from Jamaica in 1913, and he wanted all of his children and his grandchildren to get a college education. So I'm a beneficiary of that that value. So not only Yale, which was a great academic experience for me as a master's degree student, but also have a PhD from the University of South Carolina and a bachelor's degree in mathematics from Morehouse College. So I have a very diversified portfolio in terms of educational credentials. And then in terms of experience, uh, Fulton County Commission, uh, first of all, talk about the transition between having all this dynamic education and then deciding to get into politics. Where, what was the calling for you? So the, the common denominator between the two, I worked for the Peace Corps. I was a regional director of Peace Corps. I did it for seven years, traveled around the world, and I had, Rich, an, an aha moment. I was in Sierra Leone, Freeport, no, free, uh, Freetown, Sierra Leone. So all the challenges in Sierra Leone, I said, you know what? The challenge is in Atlanta. So I decided to use my professional experience, my academic experience, to go into politics uh, because politics is really about helping people out. You sit as the chair of the uh, most vibrant, active, uh, largest county in uh, the state of Georgia, that is Fulton County, which has seen an immense change as so many of our regions have. Uh, What is that job like? It was a very um, invigorating um, opportunity. So the largest local government, one million strong people, 15 cities, um, very diverse county and, and very um, diverse along a lot of lines, racial, partisan, uh, but despite all the challenges that were there, brought people together. And so the opportunity to go to Alpharetta in the north, Johns Creek, Milton, uh, Roswell, and then all the way to the south. And so the topography of the, of the county also changes a lot as well as the people. So it was a great experience, was able to do some great things as, as chairman in terms of supporting Grady Hospital, dealing with some top issues in the, in the county, transportation, economic development. So it was a really good experience and a great segue to be the mayor of Atlanta. As we ha- continue these conversations with uh, the candidates for mayor for Atlanta in 2017, we're, we're talking about transportation, talking about infrastructure. You have a unique view on that uh, with your experience in Fulton County. Talk about the role that Atlanta's next mayor will play right. in where we're going. We were exposed to a lot of our right. vulnerabilities, right. not just in the city, the region, and the state with the 85 bridge exactly. collapse. Exactly. Uh, what do you see as the biggest issues and how, how might they be solved? So that is one of the issues. So when the bridge collapsed, we discovered that there are literally 2 million cars that go through our interstate system every day. And it was challenged when 85 bridge collapsed, but only 450,000 people use MARTA. And so we have to figure out how we can get the ridership on public transportation up. So for me, being a former chairman of Fulton County and seeing things from a regional perspective, I think it's incredibly important for us to have a regional transit system. Many folks here are from Boston. I've been to Boston. The T is very vibrant uh, transportation transit system in Boston because it's regional. It includes uh, the, 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 the subway, it includes the, the, the rail car, it includes commuter trains. And so that type of system is needed to uh, transport, get folks uh, in and out of the city because truly Atlanta really is a region of five million people. It is, and it is, uh, the growth is not slowing down at all. And with all of these people that are coming here, companies, people relocating for jobs, It's exciting, but Atlanta Public Schools has had its challenges within the last decade. What do you think of the job that Maria Karstarfen has done, and what needs to happen in APS now? So I think she's done a good job, and I am an incredible proponent of public education. My daughter is a senior at Mays High School. My son graduated from Mays uh, four years ago, five years ago, so I'm there in terms of supporting public education. But we have to recognize that public education is sort of the lifeline to the future of our city. So we want to make sure that it's strong and vibrant, as well as diverse. I think that we need to get more diversity in the school system. 
a strong schools that are commensurate with strong neighborhoods, but the business community and the mayor's office can play an even more vital role in terms of partnering, supporting the, the schools, in a plural sense, supporting the superintendent, but also figuring out how can we uh, increase the pipeline, those who are going from uh, early childhood education to ele elementary school to middle school, how can we increase the flow of people through that delivery system so that they can graduate and either go to college or go to some sort of vocational training to, ha to have a job? In Buckhead, it's been exciting to watch the Atlanta Tech Village come up, what's happening in Midtown with Georgia Tech and all the startups that are here. Yes. How are we recruiting more Fortune 500 companies uh, to be here? A lot are coming and continue to come, uh, but all those things that factor in, schools and yes, infrastructure, yes, yes. are, are going to play a role in that. Uh, what else needs to be present in order to get a big company to be here? So you mentioned two things that I think are important. Education. So when companies come here, they want to make sure that their employee force, um, their children can go to a very vibrant school. Uh, also, in terms of future employees, they want to make sure that those schools uh, provide a, a good product. So I think education is, is crucial. Transportation, mobility is crucial. But I think affordable housing is also important. So when companies come here, whether they're in Buckhead or Midtown, or hopefully in the future in Southeast Atlanta and Southwest Atlanta, because I think it's important to have um, a parity, an evenness of development in companies in our city, we're going to also have to figure out how can we make the housing stock more affordable and attractive to companies because employees want to live near where they work. Now that it's complete and up and running, what do you think of Mercedes-Benz Stadium? You know, I, it certainly is beautiful. I have not been one of the, the few uh, folks to go in to experience it. I'm a big Falcons fan, uh, but I have not been inside. But uh, I think it's going to add a lot to um, certainly the sports entertainment uh, value of our community. And hopefully, I think it's going to also have a, a community development impact. Uh, that stadium is right on the periphery of Vine City, which is a part of 30318 area code, Vine City and English Avenue, and they're one of the poorest, uh, most challenged, ravished neighborhoods in our city, and we need to have some sort of uh, ripple effect. This iconic billion dollar facility and whatever comes with it should have some sort of transformative impact on that neighborhood, and so I've been pushing for what's called a community benefits um, program where people can get jobs, but more importantly how companies can be attracted to that area, and investment is in, uh, attracted to that area. So, yes, it's an iconic, beautiful facility, uh, but we also need to think in terms of how can that facility have an impact on people. Talking with John Eves, Fulton County Commissioner, looking for your vote to be Atlanta's next mayor, and that will happen in November, Decision 2017, here at iHeart Media Atlanta with Talk Radio 640 WGST. Before I give you the opportunity to give your elevator pitch, <laughs> I just wanted to ask, what might be on the little playlist at the Eves Barbecue on a, a Saturday <laughs> afternoon, will we will we hear a little Barris Hammond with the Jamaican heritage that's uh, that's in you? Well, you know, I, I certainly like Bob Marley, but uh, but I, I'm actually a big Michael Jackson fan, so it's old school type music and and uh, as well as Prince. And so, I was here at, at Morehouse in the in the '80s, and 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 Michael Jackson and Prince were were some of the top performers as they were later in life. But it certainly resonated. Uh, back then, so uh, 1999 is one of my favorites. Well, really, uh, for me as a music fan, mm -hmm. it's it's sad to see that the music of some of these artists really only gets that rebirth mm -hmm. when these artists yeah. pass away. But yeah. it is a wonderful tribute, and some of that music that you just mentioned, really just timeless, timeless music. It is, it is, and I think you know, um, I was talking with somebody the other day, and, and was she was recalling the day that Michael Jackson passed away, and I think a lot of us. Um, whether we were doing this or that, remember it. But I think there is certainly a resurgence. And my children, along with some of the more contemporary artists, uh, they certainly like um, Michael Jackson and, and Prince. All right, John, I want to give you the opportunity just to look into the camera and uh, give us your 30, 40 seconds on why people should select your name in November. Well, Rich, thank you so much for this opportunity. I, I think it's about experience. I've had the chance the past 10 years to serve as chairman of the largest local government in the state of Georgia, representing 1 million people, and we've done some great things. I have a unique ability to bring people together. I have a very diverse background, and I have a, the ability to work across the aisle and work 
uh, towards a common vision. Very, very proud about that. Done great things, Grady Hospital, regional transportation, transit, economic development, partnership with the schools, and all of that has been done corruption free. Fulton County received an award in July of being the top county in the country in terms of transparency, uh, integrity, and accountability. And a lot of it is because of the, the tone that was set at the top. So I think that it's important for citizens of Atlanta to have complete trust in government and their elected officials, but especially the mayor. So I bring that skill set, that experience, and I'm looking forward to being the 60th mayor of the city of Atlanta. John Eves, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rich. It's been a pleasure. Appreciate it. <laughs>